Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center and Jag One Physical Therapy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com here in Red Bank. We kick off the 2023 season in a big way. The reigning non-public aid champions, Bergen Catholic, take a road trip down to the Shore Conference to face off against Red Bank Catholic. The Caseys were the runners-up in non-public B last season. Not a parking spot or a seat in the stands to spare at Count Basie Field Friday night. The defense has shined early. On Bergen Catholic's first drive, we've got a pick. Luke Wasef comes down with it. Lorenzo Portella got in there with his big paw with the tip. Wasef does the rest with a sleek one-handed grab. This is RBC's first play of the game. There's a miscommunication on the exchange. Anthony Morales scoops it up. That's two big turnovers in the first two minutes of this game. But Bergen Catholic eventually takes the first lead following this 28-yard field goal from Gaetano Bartolomeo. The Crusaders lead 3-0 at the end of one. BC's defense was wreaking havoc in this game. Ethan Kohold breaks through and wrestles Frankie Williams down for the sack. Elijah Kinsler gets in the fun early in the second. The Crusaders held RBC to only two first downs in the first half. And here comes the Bergen Catholic offense. A-plus blocking springs Kaj Sanders into open space, and the Rutgers commit makes a house call. 39 yards for Sanders. The Crusaders lead 10-0. Later in the second, Bergen's passing game picks up steam. Quincy Porter is a special talent. The junior racks up 20 yards here for a big pickup. And then Dom Campanelli stretches the field. It's a shot up top for Anthony Parati. Yeah, he's in. Parati with a 35-yard pitch and catch for six. Bergen Catholic goes into the half with a 17-0 lead on the Caseys. Third quarter now. Bergen Catholic is marching down the field. Campanelli keeps it himself and picks up a first down with the designed run. Then Kaj Sanders gets the call again. He somehow fights through all that traffic to find the zone. Sanders goes beast mode on an 11-yard touchdown. Kaj Sanders has his second score of the night. Bergen Catholic's lead extends to 24-0 right here. The Crusaders' defense was stellar. Ethan Koholt had a huge game. He teams up with Delaney Flood for a big TFL. Bergen Catholic leads 24-0 at the end of three, and they roll past RBC for the win. 24-6 is the final. Jamie Gutridge scored RBC's lone touchdown late in the fourth quarter. Bergen's defense was the star in this game, however. RBC averaged 35 points per game last season. The Crusaders held them to one score. Bergen Catholic gets the first win of the season out of the way. Yeah, we definitely got the win, but it's a, it's a lot to improve on, on, like he said, all three stages of the game, offense, defense, special teams. We're definitely going to improve every week. We're going to keep working until we get that third chip. 3 p.m. on the way, I'm trying to tell y'all. Bergen Catholic now turns their focus to Iona Prep for their home opener next weekend, while Red Bank Catholic focuses in on Colts Neck. Reporting for Red Bank, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.